after completing this tutorial you will be able to create surface using revolve and extrude command how to fill surface how to sew surface together how to create edge blend and thicken the surface to convert it in solid so let's get started you are watching CADDRAW let's first create a sketch which we are going to revolve about so select the profile here and draw or a profile of surface so now let's fully define this sketch the dimension from this end to this end is 180 mm From this end to this end, length is 90 mm. From starting point to this base axis, the distance, vertical distance is 35 mm. At the end, from the base and from this point, this vertical distance is 25. The width of this line is 10 mm. Radius of this arc is 7.5 mm make this line and this line equal the radius here is 7.5 mm the height of this line is 22.5 mm make this line and this line equal and you can see now our sketch is fully defined so now let's create finish this sketch and create revolve of this profile so go to features revolve sketches has been selected select vector i am going to select this x-axis and from setting select body type as a sheet and you can see now our surface is ready the angle which we are going to revolve about is 180 degree so here the value is 90 and this is negative 90 and you can see now our 180 degree profile has been revolved let's hide this sketch and now we have to create a extrude at a top from extrude of this rectangle at a top which is the distance about sixty five mm. so we have to create a plane at a distance of sixty five mm. So distance is 65, click on OK. Now let's select this plane. Go to sketch. Now we have to create a rectangle. Select the center rectangle. Let's fully define this sketch. The width is 14 mm. 40 mm. Length is about 20 mm. Let's finish this sketch. Now we are going to create extrude of this rectangle. Here select sheet body. In a draft section select from start limit. The angle which we are going to create is about 5 degree. And make extrude about length which this surface intersect with adjacent surface. So our surface has been created. Now we are going to create fill of this top of rectangle. So go to home, select fill surface, select the curve, continuity will be G0, control point offset will be 0 and 0 tolerance will be 0 
double zero one mm click on ok and you can see now our top of fill surface has been created now we are going to create trim between this space and this space so go to trim sheet our target will be this rectangle extrude and a boundary will be this revolve surface select region to keep the region to keep will be top of this rectangle click on ok and you can see now this surface has been trimmed now we have to trim this inner surface of this revolve so again select trim sheet now this time target will be this revolve surface and the boundary will be this rectangle select a region and click on ok yes i want to select this region to keep and you can see now our trim portion has been created and a hollow surface you can see now now let's uh, shoe surface together so go to shoe surface and this is my target and this fill surface the extruded surfaces are my tool and continuity tolerance is 0 0.01 click on ok and you can see now our surface has been ready now let's create edge blend for this surfaces select connected curve select a curve of this rectangle the radius value will be 10 mm sorry 5 mm create a new set so also select the vertical wall of this revolve select a new set also create top of this wall and the radius will be 2 mm and you can see now our edge blend has been created now let's create a edge blend at this end also this radius will be 10 mm this side radius will be 10 mm and you can see now our sew surface has been ready now let's create a final thicken command for make it into solid go to more select thicken select this surface and i want to create material in inside boundary the thickness of this offset will be 2.5 mm click on ok and you can see now our solid solid body has been created to see you can see now a thickness has been added so that's all about today's tutorial now let's define a color press ctrl j you so you can see now our final thicken surface solid has been ready Please make sure you like, share and subscribe this channel for more videos and tutorials like this. Thank you for watching.